A new Belgian comic book. This one depicting the lives of locals forced to live on the streets due to rising rental prices in this neighborhood. Among the drawings, Simona Breda, who struggled for years to find a home. One landlord even decided to sell his apartment so he would not be legally obliged to rent it to her. He asked me, what nationality are you? And I told him, and he said, oh, I thought you were Turkish. Sorry, madam, it is gone. I sold it to someone else. I cried a lot. I'd waited one month for this place. And it's not due to a lack of housing, as the city builds around 3,500 new houses per year. This organisation that helps people in need of a home says the city is responding to the needs of private investors and not to the local inhabitants. Souvent le problème c'est que les gens Often the problem is people only get to visit filthy places. They are the only rentals landlords will give them because they're black, because they wear the veil or whatever, because they don't have much income and they are forced to take this accommodation because it's that or the street. With rising energy prices and inflation, the situation will get worse in Brussels before it gets better. The picture across the continent is similar. Housing Europe say house prices are growing at their fastest pace in over a decade. Eurostat confirms this. New data says house prices have spiked by 9.8% in the Euro area and by 10.5% in the European Union since last year. Raw material costs too. NGOs say cities should look to Austria for inspiration. You have to look at cities like, um, like Vienna, who are consistently managing to deliver limited profit housing over the long term. In Vienna, three in five live in social housing. Many say that's why the Austrian capital scores high in quality of life indexes. But back here in Brussels, over 50,000 families are on a waiting list for social housing, which is about 10% of the population of the city. Maeve McMahon, Euronews, Brussels.